Hello guys, we have finished up the cortex portion of our brain and now we're going to dive into the interior, the deeper structures of the brain, the older structures that evolved first. And you can either do it on the giant brain or there's a smaller brain. Both of those are down below in the video description. So decide which you would rather do your labeling on or your own diagram. And we are going to start by taking the things that are part of the cortex. You can see a section of the cortex on the interior. Take the same colors that you used on the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, and the occipital lobe on the exterior view and color code those portions on the interior view. The next part of the brain to color code and label is the cerebellum. As you can see, I've already colored it. It is posterior, it's toward the back of the brain, and it's inferior to the occipital lobe. Cerebellum comes from the word roots cera, C-E-R-E, -E, meaning brain, and bella, meaning small. So it's kind of like a tiny brain dangling off our much bigger brain. It has a different sort of texture to it, which you can see in the way it's drawn. And it has a very different function from our cortex. This is a much more ancient structure that developed before our cortex developed. Soon you'll be researching and finding out what the cerebellum helps you to do. Now we're going to focus on the oldest part of the brain, the reptilian brain. The cerebellum was part of the reptilian brain, and the rest of it is the brain stem. The brain stem is this whole thing, but it has three parts to it. So I'm going to color code the three parts, and you do the same. Now that you have color coded the three parts of the brain stem, go ahead and label them. First of all, label the entire brain stem. So this whole thing you should know is the brain stem. Together, the cerebellum and the brain stem make up the reptilian brain, the oldest part of our brain that has our most basic functions embedded in it. And the brain stem has three parts. The deepest part and the most superior is called the midbrain. This ball-like structure is the pons, and then the most inferior portion that runs down and connects to the spinal cord is called the medulla oblongata. Medulla means middle, and medulla is used in lots of anatomical terms. That's the medulla oblongata. Now we're gonna to get to the limbic system. I will be honest that I find it incredibly difficult to differentiate between the limbic system structures. So this is the best I can do after looking at many different diagrams to try to identify these things. And I'm going to switch to using markers now. The first thing is the pineal gland, which as best I can tell is this right here. The next structure is the hypothalamus, and I believe that this is the hypothalamus. The next structure is the amygdala, and when I first colored the midbrain, I accidentally shaded this in, but this is a separate structure. Make sure you can say the word amygdala. The next part is the hippocampus. And I think it's something like this. The final thing that we are going to label that's part of the limbic system is the olfactory bulb. And as best I can tell, it's that guy.
Now you do need to know that these five structures together are part of the limbic system. They are not the entire limbic system, but they're the parts of the limbic system that we're going to be learning. The last thing I've done is just color in around those limbic system organs, all one color. So this light blue area, this is the area in which we find the limbic system organs and glands. And we've only done the pineal gland, the hippocampus, the hypothalamus, the olfactory bulb, and the amygdala. But there are more. You might come across them as you map the brain and want to add them to your interior of your brain. I hope you guys liked learning the interior of the brain, some of these deeper structures. Our next task is going to be, now that we have our beautiful brains, we're gonna figure out what happens in all the different parts of the brain. Where's vision? Where's musical talent? Where is memory in the brain? Where is breathing? All those different things that you're curious about, you're going to be mapping them on your brain in the next section. So thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.